Okay, I want to take a minute here to talk about the reciprocal apparatus. Okay, this is much more elegant in the horse, but it's still a component that we do see in our ruminants. Okay, the portions of the reciprocal apparatus are the pronius tertius muscle, which attaches up here on the extensor fossa of the femur, and then comes down to attach to the dorsal surface of the metatarsal bones, and then our superficial digital flexor muscle, which attaches on the femur in the supracondylar fossa, and then on its way down to the digits, it's going to attach to the tubercalcanei. Now let's go look at a skeleton. So imagine a muscle attaching here in the supracondylar fossa, and then coming down to attach here a muscle attaching here in the extensor fossa and coming down to attach here. Okay, and imagine how when this joint flexes, how the pull on this is going to cause flexion of this joint, and when this joint extends, the pole here is going to cause extension of this joint. Okay, let's go back look at our specimen. So we have the femur, the tibia, and then our tarsus and metatarsus here. So any muscle that we would use to cause flexion of the stifle, because we get flexion of the stifle, it's going to cause flexion here because it's going to pull on the fibrous component going through our pronus tertius, causing flexion here. Okay? Likewise, anything that causes extension of this joint. See, as we extend, it's pulling on the superficial digital flexor and causing extension down here. Okay, so likewise, muscles that act on flexion here are going to have that reciprocal flexion here and extension likewise. Okay, so it's reciprocal. We're working together. Now, some muscles, such as the gastrocnemius muscle, its primary action is down here to extend the tarsus. Okay, but you can see here how it may also act as it crosses the stifle to flex the stifle. Now it's not going to do both jobs at the same time. Okay, because one is going to kind of counter the other because of this reciprocal apparatus, especially in the horse whose pronius tertius is just totally fibrous and has much more of a fibrous component in the superficial digital flexor. But the importance of this is it's conservation of energy. Okay, So muscles that are acting in flexion here are also acting in flexion here and that are acting in extension here, acting in extension here, and likewise this way, so that we've got more muscles doing the same action. The work that each muscle needs to do to overcome resistance is less. Okay? Now, this is also very important because in cattle, we have cases of dystocia where they're having trouble giving birth. And sometimes, like with a breech presentation, you got to get in there and manipulate that calf to help it come out. Well, as you're trying to manipulate that calf and get its hind legs where you want them to be so you can pull it out, you need to remember that you've got to flex both of these joints at the same time or extend both of these joints. You can't do extension of one and flexion of the other or you may end up rupturing the pronius tertius, which sometimes in cattle they may do something 
whether they get their leg caught in something and they yank, yank, yank or something like that, they may rupture this and then they lose that reciprocal apparatus. Okay? So just wanted to tell you about the reciprocal apparatus.